It's Whataburger. <laughs> We're seeing it on the roof. Now we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. What up, what up? Good morning, guys. So, we've been a little MIA. I haven't posted. Um, Wednesday night, I got a phone call from a family member that their information had been compromised um, in terms of like social security and things like that. And they were kind of lost on what to do and how to fix the issue. Don't worry, I have permission to say all of this from them because it's definitely something that people need to be aware of. When I got the phone call, I tried to do damage control over the phone in terms of talk them through what the next steps are and how to handle it. I'm not a professional. I actually don't know how to handle fraud at all, but I'm relatively good with computers and, and I have a lot of patience. I don't know a lot about fraud, not anything. I do now, but when all of this journey started, I knew nothing. And so I tried to help as much as I could over the phone. So did my mother. It just was not, I felt so defeated after the conversation. Um, I told Cody I have to go to Texas like I don't know what else to do um, I just need to be there and just handle it and so I got the cheapest flight that same night I was on the plane at 4 a.m. the next day and in Texas by 7 so as soon as I got off the plane we were handling bank accounts social security going to the driver's license office there are a ton of things that you have to do if fraud is something that happens to you unfortunately so we got everything handled and um, I feel pretty good also if you don't have Norton LifeLock this is not in sponsored at all but Norton LifeLock probably would have prevented a lot of this from happening definitely do your research look into it it can be super beneficial especially if you have um, elderly aunts and uncles or grandparents or anything like that and I only had about a day to get it all handled because my parents were actually coming to Missouri so instead of flying home I just drove back with them and so we've been spending the last couple days with them and I really didn't film a whole lot because I really like to be in the moment because I don't get to see them that often but we filmed a little bit so I'll show you all that now the whole reason they came this time was because they had a ton of stuff that they had collected for us and so they just wanted to be able to bring it out and we needed a trailer because of a staircase so I'll play that now This is my mama. Say hi, mama. Hi. Hi, Tro. This is my daddy. Say hi, daddy. 12 foot staircase, handrail staircase, so they can hook on their home and walk up on top of the house safely. Yes. So we're super, super, super excited. Thank you, daddy. Mm -hmm. It's galvanized steel, right? Yeah. Cool. Yep. Last forever. Run some self tapping bolts or something. Okay. And a whole bunch of people have asked us if we plan on harvesting meat, and the simple answer is yes. So. Daddy brought us our very first two-person prop stand tree blind. That's nice. So excited about it. And I gave you a rose that you kept on sea. Kept on We will never shoot up by the house. We'll never hunt up by the house. It'll always be down um, in the woods. That's just something that I've kind of learned when growing up is you want animals to feel comfortable coming to your house and you want to be able to see wildlife. So we will never hunt up to the house to answer a few questions. It'll always be down, but we just wanted to get it up here and see how it looks. The other thing that they brought us was these super heavy duty shelves that we're going to put in the storage building. They also 
brought us this, which I'm super excited about because I love yard art. A bread maker because I love cooking, as y'all know. So I'm super excited about that. Star, Texas. I don't know if it's specifically Texas, but that's what I think of. Candlestick holders. And the other things oh, yeah, that yeah. they I'll brought us up. were taco casa hot sauce. Sorry, babe. Hey, you know I'm not that I know. short. Taco casa hot sauce. It's Whataburger. Ah! What's saying on the roof? Session. Yeah, coolest <laughs> snow globe ever. Got so big so fast. Mm -hmm. They did. And then the next clip that I have with my parents is definitely a bucket list item. We had no idea that we were going to be doing this. We went to a whole bunch of stores yesterday that my parents um, enjoy going to in St. Louis whenever they come. And then on our way home, we decided to stop at a gun store and they had a Tommy gun. And me and my mom both love Tommy guns. My dad and Cody, of course, too. But me and my mom both especially have a fascination with them and it's a dream number one to shoot one and number two to own one which we will never be able to own one because they're incredibly expensive but at least to shoot one and we finally got that opportunity so all four of us got to shoot and it was so much fun so I'll throw that in here this is what we call family fun uh, first and foremost this is a very heavy gun you ever shot one It was freaking awesome. It was fun. You liked it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, overall it was a pretty good weekend um, under the circumstances. So while I was stressed and everything was chaotic in Texas, I still got to see my brother and my sister and hang out with my niece and nephew and go to my aunt and uncle's house. And that was a great time and I had so much fun with them and spending time with my grandma. And then when my parents came, I just got to really enjoy them. So it's been a really fun weekend. Kind of sad because they left. So I've been a little upset this morning, but it's okay. We're going to make some breakfast, drink some coffee, and start working. to work on the outside because you know we still have a few more things to do before winter hits and we want to like start prepping the containers but it's super rainy and super muddy and just like not even worth it so I think we're going to be working on the inside more specifically the bathroom before we do that though we need to cut up a whole bunch of veggies and go feed it to the girls <laughs> easier for them to eat it if I grate it up versus if I give them chunks. I don't want them to choke, um, so I'm just scared of that. Oh, 
Believe it or not, this water is actually relatively clean. Um, they're just messy. And they like to put mud in it. Side by side, our fears are done. So my buddy Dylan came out, we got the sun out for a little bit, so we're going to work on the bathroom later tonight, but for now we're going to try and get these stairs leaned up against the house and see if they'll actually fit. Found what we're looking for in life, us crazy, but things are finally right, you and I, the future is bright. We got our stairs up, thanks Bill, but they're a little too short. So uh, we're still gonna move it all the way over to the end, that way it's not just in the middle all weird like it is. And then I don't know if we are... Out of platform. Yeah, me and Dylan were talking about it because he's a fabricator, so you know, he does this stuff for a living all the time, but we were thinking of either extending the legs on the bottom to kind of bring the whole top up or unbolting the front side of each stair and then actually tilting it a little bit to put it at the right angle so we could leave the whole staircase at this angle but fix the angles of the actual stairs themselves. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but we're gonna figure it out this week. Either way, we are so excited, especially me because that's what Cody has been having me get on and man, it's sketchy trying to get on the roof. So I'm excited about having this. In terms of like long-term, it's going to be painted and when we have like the final design for the outside of the house, it'll look seamless and not so, you know, industrial. It's really not even bad how it is. Like I can walk up it, but we definitely still need to fix the angle. We have this tiny little strip of floor left to weld. Because I couldn't, these gaps are way bigger and I was able to do this just fine. Not perfect, but it'll do. But these gaps are freaking huge. So I wasn't able to do those or that strip right there. And I haven't had time to, so. Dylan's out here today, and he's got an itch to do some welding, I guess, so we're gonna get it finished up. Yep. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know So Dylan finished the floors and then he taught me how to fill in gaps on this little part. Here in the kitchen, we had three gaps that needed to be filled and they were super, super thick. And so I did all of those after he taught me how to do it. And now they're just going to fix the tree hauler and then we can officially get the welder out of the house and I'm so excited because it takes up so much freaking space. So if y'all remember a long time ago, I welded this tree hauler for Cody. It was one of the very first projects that I ever started on. Um, she definitely needs paint because she's rusting, but the welds weren't terrible. However, she did crack and broke. And so right at here, she had cracked on this side and was all angled. Well, Dylan got her all welded for us, and so she should not ever crack again. He said he did an uphill weld and that it should be stronger. I don't know what that means, but yeah. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my height. We have a majority of our bathroom already mudded, but all of this around the shower still needs a second coat. And if you know anything about drywall and mud, it creates a crap ton of dust. So I think we're gonna go ahead and move everything out of the shower and just finish the mudding up so that way it can just be said and done and not even have to worry about it anymore until we're ready to you know, do finishing touches and get ready for paint. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but this wall is just a tad bit funky, so we're either probably going to take it off and reposition it, or probably just what, mud it until it looks normal, I guess? Yeah. But it's really not that bad, and it's almost completely unnoticeable. I've also thought about maybe completely shiplapping this wall as an accent wall to cover it. And it's not the whole wall, it's just this bottom part where the pocket door goes. If the wind could spread your love. 
it's way later in the day now, which y'all probably don't know, but. I was up late and I was up early and I'm tired. Coffee for some energy. <sighs> Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. And then he's gonna be using tape for the seams. It's always so peaceful at night. Oh, I love it. So I've been scrolling through Pinterest to try to figure out what we want to do for around the tub surround. I know that we're going to caulk all the way around, but I was thinking of potentially doing some sort of like backsplash. Originally we were just going to keep it drywall, but I've been looking at backsplash and I think Cody and I both love this kind of dark backsplash contrast on the white. Not a fan of this backsplash, but as an example, it's going to basically go out that much on either side of the wall. It looks so freaking good, babe. Thank you. You did such a good job. Y'all, it is freezing. So Cody is putting their camera back on and then, are you gonna drain their pool or no? Uh, yeah. Y'all doing good, girls? So yeah, I'm sleeping. Why are you waking me up? <laughs> I think tomorrow I'm gonna clean out their entire enclosure and then I have a new type of sealant I wanna put in their house. So I'll show you all that probably in the next video. It's getting pretty, oh my gosh, yeah, it is pretty late now. It's one, one in the morning. Yeah, one in but while I was gone, we received an Amazon package and Cody called me. He's like, did you order anything from Amazon? I was like, no. We weren't sure where it came from, so he went ahead and opened it and when he realized what it was, he stopped and waited for me. So, we got an Amazon package for y'all. <laughs> 
We're so excited and very, very, very thankful. Um, yeah, super excited about it. Don't ever feel like you have to send us anything, but people asked us for a wish list, and so we put it up there on things that we could definitely use around the property and stuff mm -hmm. that we've already utilized. So we are so excited and yeah, thankful. Thank you so much. So Doug Scott sent me a pack of my favorite sunglasses. Uh, yes. They're literally just shaded safety glasses. Mm -hmm. So I wear the crap out of them. He literally does. They're scattered everywhere too. Yeah, I used to buy them at Harbor Freight because they were $1.50 and like $1.50 pair of sunglasses. Come on, right? And then I started finding them on Amazon and these big 12 packs for cheaper. But yeah, just regular safety glasses, but they are the best sunglasses. Yeah, he loves them because He's constantly like welding or grinding or, you know, just doing various activities where they're always getting scratched. So having a good um, pack where he can just exchange them every time he gets he gets them scratched is perfect. Yeah, that was the nice thing about him being a dollar fifty at Harbor mm -hmm. Freight is I'd constantly be scratching them, you know, dropping them off my face at work and being under cars and scratching on the tools and stuff like that. So it's definitely nice to be able to replace them, you know, once a month or every couple of weeks whenever I need and they start getting scratched. So very much, Doug Scott. I appreciate it. And then Songbird 307 sent us this massager. I didn't even know this was on the wish list. Did you put this on there? Yeah. I oh did. my gosh. I put it on there like Christmas whenever we had the whole gift exchange and there was the oh, massage room. Yeah, yeah, I had yeah. on there for a while. We are so excited about this, y'all. Okay. We have some sore backs around this house constantly working and all that but mm -hmm. i know i was super excited as soon as i saw that one because it's one of the like deep kneading or deep tissue massage ones so it's got like the rotating knobs inside of it mm -hmm. so it like really digs into your muscles oh i love it and then she also sent us some floodlights and we are so excited about these we, we have like five of them around the property mm -hmm. already kind of lining our driveway and then around our storage building and stuff like that so we love them, they're really bright, and I, I don't think I've ever actually killed a battery on them. Like every time I walk past them, they always turn on. Yeah, so. huge, And huge, they're super huge cheap, necessity. so definitely recommend if y'all need any solar lights or anything like that, check these ones out, they're in our wish list. Um, we use a ton of them and we love them. Yeah. So Songbird307, thank you so much for the massager and light. That is super appreciated. We probably should go to sleep because we have a long day of work tomorrow. Because I was gone and then my parents were here, we really just didn't get a lot done. So we and then it rained and then it yeah. was muddy and yeah, we have to kick it into high gear for sure. So we're yeah, gonna... it was like a light switch flipped and it's fall all, all of the oh sudden. Oh my gosh, it's freezing cold out there. I'm gonna have to pull out my jeans and winter clothes. It's it's coming quick. Yes, so we need to kick it into high gear and get to it, but. I figured we could answer just a few questions. Um, there weren't really a whole ton on there, and I think that we actually went and answered a whole bunch one day, so that's why there wasn't a ton, but. Ashley McGee said, did y'all say y'all had a Pinterest board for us to follow? I was trying to follow you on Pinterest, but I can't find you. So I do have a Pinterest board, and I posted a few things on there, but if you're looking for like more of like what I'm envisioning and my inspiration and where I kind of get my ideas on how I want things designed, it's on my Pinterest. And so I'll link that in the description or maybe put it on the screen. I don't know. Do have a Pinterest, post it on a little bit, sometimes recipes, but yeah. And then Quiet Clarence says, Hey, are you guys planning on deer hunting on the property? If you do, film the hunting and post some of the action. Uh, yes, we do plan on deer hunting. Uh, Summer's dad actually just brought us a tree stand this weekend. We were able to get that put together, but we haven't put it out where we want it at yet. We'll yeah. probably be doing that in one of the next couple of videos. Are we going to post much about hunting on this channel? Probably not. We'll definitely update y'all, but... We try to keep this channel, I mean like posting the Tommy gun footage is already super controversial to me and I kind of like was hesitant with it because not everybody agrees and I like to keep our channel really, really neutral. At the, at the same time, whenever things are important to us, like that was a dream of mine, I'm gonna post it because that's our life, but we probably won't. We'll definitely update y'all because harvesting meat is really important on the homestead, but in terms of actual footage of hunting, there probably won't be a whole ton of that. Um, just because, you know, YouTube and rules and regulations and things like that, but definitely will be hunting them. Also, I just realized you can see all of my dirty dishes this entire time. Um, ignore that. Yeah, I was waiting for the dishwasher to finish. It actually just finished, so. Yeah. 
Yeah. We're not doing those tonight. Yeah. And for the record also, we don't trophy hunt at all. We literally no. just hunt mm -hmm. for meat to feed ourselves. We like knowing where the meat comes from and what it is and what's in it. All right. Bye. Bye. See y'all in a couple <laughs> days. Now we only get one life, I wanna make it.